Yeah, I thought about that question last night. Um, I think um, platforms for resilience not having an autoimmune response. Um, that um, our system's not built. It, our system should not last. But we can't break it. We can't hurt people. We can't have more inequity. So how do you create these shadow services that then have the system make an easy transition to the other side <coughs> without breaking our system? So I think there's a lot of power in platforms for resilience and how we respond with our services and the alternatives. And we have to start providing a lot more alternatives that are relevant to the world these kids are living in. Like that one student says, we're already there. It's just not in the schools. So the other part of that is, especially for you guys, is the learning economy is going to grow and grow. School is going to be maybe a tiny hub of where learning happens. And the real learning is going to happen outside of the school. And maybe that's OK. But maybe we need to broker and create more of a seamlessness between all these experiences. Because, you know, learning is 24-7, and it's not happening all the time between 7.30 and 2.30. And so how do we extend that time and make it more seamless? And I think that's a great role for you guys to be part of. Does anybody else want to go next? Or
but I do want to hear from you guys, I and mean, feel free to ask me questions, but I would love to hear more, and, and I told uh, Bernie she had to do this, is, is reflect on your own services and think about kind of your own aha moment or think about what you might do based on this, and if you feel comfortable sharing that with folks, but again, I'm happy to take questions too, but I, you know, you know, some places you go places, they go, oh, I want questions, no comments. Uh, you're more than welcome to have comments. The uh, map or the forecast is not a Bible, it's just a forecast.